One expert we've spoken to says it would be wrong for anyone to change their mind about David Bain based on the so-called confession in that 111 call. Kate Lynch compiled this report. I shot the prick or just plain breathing. Either way, it's providing fresh headlines and renewing the controversy, did he or didn't he? Seven different audio experts from around the world have studied the tape. One of them, Australian forensic speech scientist Dr Philip Rose, analysed it for the defence. When I listened to that uh, bit, um, I could hear um, a, a, an utterance, something like, I can't. And that's what I put in my uh, report to, to Joe Caram. And Karen was quick to point out today even the Crown's own audio experts were unsure if the sounds were speech. French and Harrison say it is our view that it would be dangerous to put before a jury an interpretation of the question material as alleged by Detective Ward. So the Crown's own expert told the Crown it would be dangerous to put this before a jury. In fact, Professor French warned the prosecution that playing the recording and telling the jury what they should be listening for would be priming them to hear it. Legal expert Scott Optikin says the recording should not be considered the trump card by anyone trying to make up their mind. And people are always entitled to form their own view of the evidence in the case. But it would be wrong for anyone to take this piece of evidence and have it change their mind about the case uh, one way or the other. Karam says Bain has known about the alleged confession for years and he's been waiting for it to get out. He says Bain isn't worried, he knows he didn't say those words and he just wants to get on with his life. Kate Lynch, 3 News.